hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel this is the third video i'll be doing on a series of videos I'll, i'm going to be doing on system center configuration manager which is the current branch so in this video i'm going to show you how to actually configure your lab so if you in my in the second video i did i showed you what are the specifications you will need to actually build your lab but in this video i'm going to actually promote my my domain my windows server to a domain controller and here you can see my configuration manager i'm going to add the this server to be a member of my domain controller and i will also, I'll actually leave you to add the other workstation like we have some workstations here you're going to add this to your domain controller as well so let me first of all you can see if i go to my settings i gave this um this server just about two gigabytes of memory because this is a domain controller of course i will not be logging to this domain controller um often i'll be using my workstation to access this server and also my configuration manager which of course i'll be installing my sql server on this device and my visus will also be installed on this machine so i gave this about 16 gigabytes of memory because if i'm going to use like 4 8 gigabytes definitely it may become very very slow so what we need to do right now is here i've already changed the ip address of this device to be a static ip address that's what i'll be doing for all the other workstations and also for the other servers and also i've already changed the computer the host name of this device you can see it's called the bru which are for me is kind of a shortcut of brussels and the DC, which is the domain control, and it's going to be my first domain control uh, controller. So you can as well install a secondary uh, domain controller should in case something goes wrong, you always have a backup. But I'm going to do that in a different. Uh, in, uh, I'm going to do that on the background, which I'll show you how to configure um, a secondary domain controller. I hope you all know how to do just that. So what I need to do is I need to go to my. Let me just go to my manager, and I'm going to add roles and future. And let me just click next so it's, a, it's going to be a role based or future based installation so let's click next and here we're going to install it on this domain controller controller and then click next and here we're going to actually install the active do, um, directory domain service so just um, accept all the other features that will be installed are the features and then we're going to click next so here we're going to also click next here you can see it says learn more about the Azure Active Directory. We can configure Office 365 with Azure Directory Connect. So just click next to say so restart this destination server automatically if required. I'm going to check that and just click yes. And then we're going to install. So um, I'm going to pause this video and wait for the installation to complete. So after the installation complete, I'll come back again and I'll promote this server to a domain controller. So right now you can see that the future um, installation has been completed. So it says additional steps are required to make this machine a domain controller. So we need to promote this server to a domain controller by clicking promote to a domain controller. And then here we have uh, three options. You select a deployment operation. So it says add a domain controller to an existing domain. Uh, we don't want to add um, a domain to an existing domain because we don't have any existing domain. It says add a new forest. So we're going to add a new forest so this forest we're going to call the root domain is going to be on the kelv global.com so uh, let me see kelv global.com that's correct so we're going to click next so here it says and uh, the, for, the first functional level is going to leave that for 2016 windows server 2016 and you can see that and uh, this is also going to be our dns server automatically uh, your first um domain control out it will also be your global catalog so i'm going to enter a password the restore password and then click next so it says here you say delegation for this dns server cannot be created well this is just normal just click next So here you can see the net the net bios domain name is going to be kelv global and then click next
so for the part we're just going to actually leave for the database log file on the size folder you can actually change this if you have for example you can actually decide to save them on the file on the file server but i'm just going to select the default location and click next and then here we can just scroll down and see and review the options then we can click next to start our installation so it's checking if everything is the pre um, requisite if they are all correct if not you're going to receive an error message so i think i'm ready to go so all uh, prerequisite checks pass successfully so click install so the installation is going to take some time after that you're going to restart your server and then log on to a domain controller so after we log on to the domain controller i'm going to add my configuration manager to this server so let me pause this video and come back again when my server has been promoted to a domain controller so here you can see that our device is about to restart so say the computer is about it's being restarted because of the directory it has been installed so now we are going to restart this device and then log on to the device again so my device have just restarted so i'm going to log, log in now to the domain um, name kelv global as an administrator so let me just enter my password after which i'm going to create a new user's name in um, using active directory users and computers so i'll be using that name to log on to that device and i'll, I'll also be using that name to join others other windows server and client to this server so let me just let me close this and uh, let me go to tools here we have the oh, okay still trying to refresh we have the active directory users and computers So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, you know, it's a, actually a good practice to always create um, a new organization unit. I'm going to call this, let me just call this Gulf Global. And here I'm going to call, create a new organization unit as well. And then call it um, users, users. And the other users we can have, I'm going to create a new organization unit again and call this admin. So this will be admin users. I'm going to create a new user here. So I'm going to call this Kelvin Johnson. I'm going to do that. Kelvin Johnson. So I'm going to set the password never expires. I'm going to this password and then click next and finish. So what we are going to do is I'm going to actually let me just click the properties this user and add let him be a member of the domain admin and also it's going to be the enterprise admin enterprise admin and for the we're going to as well add him to the schema admin as well yeah i think we're ready to go so I'll just click ok so i'm going to sign out of this um device let me just sign out here and then let me then just try to log in using the other user and to use the Kelvin Johnson and enter password. Okay, so a new profile will be created for Kelvin Johnson. So what we also need to do is I'm going to go to my um, configuration manager and here you can see that this uh, configuration manager which we're going to be installing our um, SSCM, that is the System Center Configuration Manager, our SQL Server and also our Vesus, it still um, belongs to a work group. So what I need to do is I need to change this. Let me just click change here and add it to the domain kelvglobal.com and then click OK. And then I'm going to add the user's name Kelvin Johnson enter his password and then click OK it says welcome to the, to the Kev Global and then we have to restart our device so you can as well do this for the other different machines just but first of all you need to make sure let me I restart this device let me go to the IP address and show you what I configured for me to be able to add this machine easily to the domain server so here you can see if I go to the properties and I go to the TCP IP version 4. Here you can see that the IP address is actually belongs to the same range as this, the domain control. And what I actually do is that the DNS of this server is coming from here because this is, my, this is also my DNS server. 
and I'm using an alternative DNS off my uh, direct um, uh, internet at home, which will of course grant me access to the internet. You can see this device have access to the internet because without me adding this DNS, I may not have access to the internet. So this actually gives gives me access to this server, it makes me to be able to access the server and add, add this device to the domain controller without any issue. So let me just close that and. Um, Close this as well so we can restart this device and if i go back here and i go to my tools active directory users and computers let me just pin this to my taskbar and i go here to computers you can see that the machine that the c uh, the cm01 has been added so what i need to do is um under my kelp global where i created a user i need to create a new organization unit and call this um computers so here we can then create a new organization unit and call this servers so now i can now move my server to this here so i can actually link for example i want to create group policy i can link it to this so i'm going to create another one here again uh, let me just create a new organization unit and call this um client okay and then I can also create a different one and then I'm going to show you need to call this desktops so, okay so when I add my um, workstations I can add them to the client or the desktop I can add them to a different way so I can actually play with group policy when I'm trying to create group policies for the different organization units so that is how you configure your device so the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to install the um, and this, this certification and uh, the certificate we are going to be using during our configuration manager. So I'm going to show you how to actually configure our PKI. And also, I'm, I think I'm creating a video on how to actually um, enroll the certificate and also how to enroll the certificate to client devices. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. And if this video has been of any help to you, also take your time and give me a thumb up for, uh, for me taking my own time to create this video. Thank you very much and please don't forget to watch the part 4 of this video. And I believe you will, you will learn a lot in this series of System Center Configuration Manager. Thank you very much and goodbye.